hello everybody welcome to this video uh, in this video i want to show you how to create all of the resource groups with one command or with a very small script that i'm going to give it to you uh, just make sure you know what you're doing and do not do this in a production environment but mainly but if you are studying for the exam and if you are working with your own subscription you're creating a whole bunch of resource group typically you would be deploying a lot of different resources and some of them could be very costly like firewalls like sql databases you know if you're using a, a lot of cpu and memory that kind of stuff so just uh, create a couple of resource group real quick so say lab one is the first resource groups resource group and then let's create a couple more a lab two and let's create one more uh, lab three in a real world situation you will have lots of other resources uh, deployed within this particular resource group that you're creating let's put it some other uh, region uh, so say you have three resources and you, you're working on it and you just uh, didn't feel like deleting so you can delete it uh, you know by clicking on it and then go to the delete resource group and then you have to copy the name or type that name exactly over here and then only this delete button will be available so, so think about if you have a whole bunch at the end of the day you just want to clean up and uh, it's it, it will take a good amount of time to go through this exercise so all you really need to do, uh, you can either run a script from here, uh, from the cloud shell, or I'm just gonna give you a script very small, okay? So all it's gonna do, it's gonna run this get easy resource group command, and the output will get all the resource group name, and it's gonna store it as a list within the RG name, this particular variable. Then we're going to run a for each loop where we are going to iterate over each resource group name in RG group name. That is the list that contains all the all the resource group names. And what we're going to do, we're going to remove the AZ resource group name. We're going to pass the name each time and we're going to make it verbose and we are going to force it. So it's not going to ask you, are you sure that you're going to delete? It's just going to delete it. So... I am in my uh, within my Visual Studio Code, but you can run this script from anywhere you prefer. Uh, first time you run, you may have to go and uh, uh, do this. Okay, uh, connect to Azure with the browser. So you will do type. Uh, let me put this code as well. Connect is the account, and that will authenticate this particular particular console to Azure and you should be able to run run this command okay so I'm just going to give that to you if you are not connected by any chance now to run the code is pretty simple I'm just going to clear it out sorry clear so here I'm just going to do uh, this is delete all so delete all that ps that's the script that I'm running so it's immediately what you see since we have it verbose it's telling you what is going on so lab 3 is the first resource group that it got and uh, what it's going to do it will uh, perform the operation removing resource group on target lab 3 so it's working on it so as soon as it's done it's going to tell you whether uh, this uh, this removal is successful or not it usually takes about you know few 15 20 seconds maybe so you can also now go to your azure go back to the resource and this is the one that it started deleting so let's uh, uh, refresh this couple times and see what happens it's now thinking making sure now it says true that means this resource group is now deleted so if i go back refresh i expect this to be gone so click on it and you see that this is gone so the next one it picked up is lab one. So it's now looking inside uh, the lab one and uh, you may have multiple resources within the lab, within this resource group. So it sometimes it may take, you know, uh, if you have a lot of resources, it may take some time to delete that resource group. So just be patient, but just uh, note that once you run this command, that's it. You know that everything will be clean and you don't have to worry about anything. So we'll wait for one more maybe, and then we can end the video. 
okay so this script i'm also going to give it to you in the video or we can also go to my uh, github github account that i have I, I typically post different stuff and you know helpful codes here and there uh, so you can also get it from there as well so this one is also done so lab one should be done this is the last one that is working on right now so for here if i refresh the lab one is done and this is now currently trying to get rid of the lab two resource group and anything that is deployed within that uh, particular resource group okay hopefully this video is useful uh, if you like this video give me a like and please subscribe and share it with your friends and just you know if you want nice and cool videos in the future uh, share, subscribe and thanks for watching have a great day